Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we, well, did a little bit of exploring. Happened to find a giant over in here that was maddened and, well, found a uh, trader over here and cleared out this uh, little fortification of Sliss. Once they find out about it, that'll probably be a problem, but at the very least, we've cleared it out. We might want to tell them about that at some point, but for now, we need to head further north. And, oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, come on over. Horde War Lizard. A fair bit of health, and I think we'll be fine killing one of these. Oh yeah, we're still hasted. Oh, here come more. That is Horde Cultist. That is definitely a kill hit now. Alright, I should have known there would be more here. There we go. Ow. Oh, great, he's got that. Okay, well, we've got him. Ah, summoned aid. Covered by an invisible shield, it won't be enough. There we go. Now let's focus on this warrior. And a cast there. Bloody hell. And now the war lizard is actually doing something. Almost got that guy. Uh, yeah, healing. Just a little. Yes, yes, I know, you shoot fire, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hey, there's another one up there. Alright, kill off that slime if you can. Yeah, fireball. Nice. There we go. Yeah, yeah, shoot your fire. And... come on. There we go. Okay. And there's still one more soldier over there. Just pelt him with arrows, you'll regain a little bit of energy from this. I'm fine with that. If we can clear up everything up to the bridge, I may take a quick trip down in order to sell some stuff we have at Fort Dranlon. I'm not- I'm trying to only take the more valuable stuff, but still, we're gonna get full up. Excellent! And we got a level up. Alright, Michael. You got 10 endurance, 10 strength, 7 dexterity, could do with more. 10 melee weapons, which is good. You could do with more in, with more intelligence. Blade Master, that is impressive. Um... Also helps you recover from fatigue more quickly. How the hell do you get that? Because I want that for Ortas. Probably more dexterity, I think. Probably. But I don't know if it's certain. Uh, you... I want to give you a bit more intelligence. Make you a li at least a little more resistant to, uh... To certain spells. And maybe it's dexterity, or maybe it's melee weapons. I don't know. Alright, so that leads eastwards. Alright, and this leads up north. And that leads west. I remember there used to be a camp of Nephil out here. Camp may be abandoned. Might be uh, other hostile creatures around here. Oh, hello, rats! This farm lo looks like so many others in Avernum. Infected with the blight, threatened by the advancing Slith Horde, and abandoned. There's nobody here. At least nobody human. You notice that the walls are dotted with large spider webs. And rats. Lots and lots of rats. Now, oh, come on. 
cast it in there. There, burn everything. Ha! Ah, that works perfectly. Almost perfectly. Alright. Let's see how Fire Blast does. Pretty good, I think. Okay. Divine Fire. And we'll cast another Fire Blast spell here. And cast it. Burn them all. There we go, there we go. Some of the rats are even terrified, which is awesome. And there go most of the rats. Huh. I love area spells when they work right. There we go, that went well. Uh, healing elixir. And a couple more bags of meal. And since there's spider webs everywhere, I think. Searing Wormkin, that's not a spider. Why is there a Searing Wormkin? That's not a spider. And I see more of them in there. Draw them back. I suppose that'll work. And cold spray. Icy rain. Whatever. You know what I mean. Why searing wormkins? I expected spiders, not these. Uh, they must be in the back somewhere. Well, at least we got these. There we go. Uh, nothing over there. Nothing over there. Anything left behind in here? A flawed crystal. Nothing there. Just a dagger. Uh, the spiders must be downstairs. Alright, down we go. Oh uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Someone has placed a trap in this tunnel. It's very crude and easy to spot, although that doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. As you try to find a way around it, you hear something in the shadows. High-pitched giggling, followed by many tiny feet scattering over the stone. Something about this th seems very familiar. You think back to your training, trying to remember if you learned something about this sort of situation. Oh no, is it gremlins? I think it's gremlins. Pretty sure it's gremlins. That trap was already disarmed. As you get close to the next trap, it goes off. The vibrations of your footsteps must have triggered it. Whoever made it still needs a lot of practice. The rocks covering the trap vibrate and then fly apart. A cloud of mist rises from the wreckage, floats away, and then coalesces into several creatures. That's a clever way to make a trap work. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, we can kill them. Those things always just felt so squishy. I mean, the stunning is annoying, but I swear, those creatures, they just always felt squishy to me. Something about them. I don't know what, but something. Well, at least they're not going after our mages. There we go. And a couple arrows for the last one. And we are good. Okay, moving on. Here. You enter a cave containing several huge spiders. You reach for the, your blades, expecting an attack. Instead, one of them lunges forward. However, instead of hissing and biting you, the normal giant spider behavior, it says, Hurry! A person! In a high-pitched voice. Then it wraps its pedipalps around your leg in a motion that could only be considered a hug. And it all comes back to you. 
You had heard rumors of the giant, intelligent, friendly talking spiders. In training, you were told of these perky, occasionally irritating, generally harmless creatures. Of course, you dismissed all of this as nonsense. But now here you are, facing the arachnids, listening to them greet you and offer you delicious bits of chitrack. You aren't sure if you have gone mad. At the moment, it seems likely. Holy crap! The gifts! I had no idea where we were going to find them, but... You know what? That is the uh, way these traps were made to make a lot more sense. As you enter the spider cave, a guard walks up to stop you. Halt! I am Spider! Her voice is high-pitched and chirpy. Coming from her arachnid face, the effect is somewhat disorienting. I am a guard! Sometimes big people are mean to us and try to squish us! Are you here to squish us? It's all right. I am friendly. Really? Phew, I'm glad. And come in! Oh, and you should go see Spider. You're the Spider. And be sure to talk to Spider. Are all spiders named Spider? Of course! What else would we be named? We are spiders, silly. Where can I talk to Spider? Spider waves a foreleg in the, vaguely in the northwest sort of direction. That way! We saw you coming in, and I know Spider wants to talk to you. Spider, too. How do you tell the difference between them? Well, Spider is very cute and dignified, while a spider is always calm and also somewhat cute. It's easy! Wait, was it the other way around? It could have been. Why does Spider want to see me? Do you mean Spider, Spider, or Spider? You have to admit that you have no idea. The guard spider watches you with undisguised fascination. Wow, a person. People are so neat. Do you need anything? What are you guarding against? Her hair, her leg hairs stand on end. Everyone hates spiders. It is so not fair when all we try to do is be friendly and nice. They want to squish us, or eat us, or keep us as pets, or get our eggs for magical experiments. Someone actually wants to eat you? She seems suspicious. And what about that is so strange? You think we aren't delicious? We are! Not that we female spiders eat the male spiders anymore. What have you heard? Um, who tries to keep you as pets? The giants! They like to put us in cages because they think the noises we make are funny. The more she talks, the higher her voice gets. Funny! How insulting! Uh, right. Magical experiments? That's... Horrible. Yes, they want to take our eggs and do things to them. To make a race of smart talking spiders that are mean. That is why we always keep our eggs hidden away. Aren't there already a race of smart talking spi well, technically I guess the Aranea don't talk. That's all for now, thanks. Oh, well, that's the guard one. There are several spiders on guard here, brandishing huge fangs, ready to plunge them into anyone who causes trouble. At least that is the image they're trying to project. They can't help occasionally trying to chat with you or offering you a delicious chunk of tasty chitrack leg. Well, at least they keep the uh, chitracks down. This chitrack has been thoroughly paralyzed and mummified in webbing. Spiders only eat things that are still alive. Unappetizing, perhaps, but they didn't choose to be hatched that way. Can't go through there. The baby spiders swarm around, chirping, jumping, and occasionally trying to eat each other. When you get close, they hide behind stalactites, stalagmites. This giant spider is leading around a crowd of tiny baby spiders, most of them around the size of your foot. They are an unruly, cacophonous mass of squealing, crying arachnids, all attempting to gang up and eat their larger guardian. When you get close, she gathers them up with a foreleg and pushes them behind her. I am Spider, she says suspiciously as they start to gnaw on her back legs. These are our babies. You leave them and our eggs alone. You look after the young? Yes, and you better not hurt them. I don't care how cute you are. If you take our eggs, we'll all bite you on the legs until you fall over. And be careful not to step on our young. As much as I wish you would. Where are the eggs? Yep, you want eggs? You better stay away. She scuttles away. The baby spiders follow. Uh, tell me more about the babies. Well, there's Spider, and Spider, and Spider, and I can't forget about Spider. She's a real sweetie, and... Spider? Where is Spider? Someone tell me where Spider is! Spider, stay safe! We'll, sp we'll find you! 
She runs off, baby spiders in tow. <sighs> the spider continues to watch you suspiciously as the baby spiders behind her keep trying to sneak around for a better look. One bites her on a leg and is rewarded with a sharp kick for its troubles. Um, why are those spiders trying to eat you? Spiders don't naturally get along with each other. With some spiders, the girls like to eat the boys. Isn't that rude? The babies come out that way and we have to teach them to be better. I'm sure you are the same way. Um, I am the same way? What do you mean? Well, I'm sure human and sloth babies eat each other all the time. It is just part of life. It must be very sad when it happens, though. Uh, human babies don't. I mean, the sloth babies do nip at their caretakers a bit, from what I remember. Nephil, I'm pretty sure they might do a little bit, but not really much. Probably not. We never actually saw any Nephil children. Uh, neither, either way. Do you ever want to eat a male spider? I, well, I, sometimes. She starts to drool slightly. I mean, no, never. That would be bad. I would never eat a boy spider, no, no matter how delicious he is. All right, I think we'll leave you up to that. Another baby, another baby. There's a young spider here, only as tall as your knee. She isn't afraid of you. She is walking around the cave. Occasionally, she stops and, make an, and makes an ASH noise. Then she notices you. Oh, hi! I'm Spider! I've never seen a person before. Wow, you're big! Have you never seen a person before? Nope! I was born in here. They never let me go out and hunt. They say that there are bad, bad slips out there. I think. So I stay in here and get ready. And I'm bored. What are you getting ready for? Someday they will let me go out and hunt chitrax and other delicious food. And when I do, I will be ready for the hunt. I won't be scared. I'll have these. And she shows you her fangs. Even though she is young, they are already over five inches long and dripping with venom. What do you do to keep busy? I talk to spiders. I look at the eggs. I listen to Spider Tracer talk about the dragon. He really likes the dragon. Wait, 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 wait. Spider Tracer? Okay, then, um, where are the eggs? Um, I better not say. Spider would be very mad at me if I did. The eggs are a big secret. Fair enough, then. The baby spider continues to walk around the cave. She occasionally stops and goes, <coughs> Then she makes a little irritated noise and keeps walking. Why do you keep making that noise? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to breathe fire. What? Well, wouldn't that be great? If spiders could breathe fire? So I'm trying to figure out how. Wow, that would be neat. Where did you get that idea? Spider Trace me Spider Tracia told me how the dragon could breathe fire. That's why everyone is scared of it and worships it. If we could breathe fire, maybe everyone would like us. Fire breathing breathing spiders. I No, just just no. You really think you might succeed? Well, I've never heard of a spider who tried to breathe fire. So maybe we can, but we don't know about it because we never tried. Clever, huh? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your new nightmares for the next week. This spider stands out from the others. She has little marks painted on her face. She is walking around gathering stones. Yes, yes, that's a nice one. The right shape and pretty. I can make a good trap with it. Then she sees you watching her. Wow, a person! Neat! My name is Spider. Do you know magic? I bet you know magic. I love magic. You know magic? I do. A tiny bit. A few spells, mainly to set traps. Nothing like you. Why, you're so big and strong and smart. I bet you know all sorts of amazing spells. How did you learn magic? From Aranea! When we lived by the deep river, there was a colony of Aranea nearby. I went over a lot and talked to them and gave them bug bits, and they gave me tips. Uh, aren't Aranea evil? Oh, yes, a little evil. You have to be careful. When they lose their tempers, it's good to go or they blow you up. But sometimes they're nice. You'd like them if you got to know them. Right. Do you like the Aranea? 
That's why I visited them. Some of them are nice and all are smart and some of them are very friendly. So you were close friends with some Aranea. Her leg hairs twitch in agitation. A lady never kisses and tells. I am not going to try to think of those spiders having sex with the Aranea, please. <laughs> you walk with Spider as she looks for stones to make her traps. It's a lot of work keeping all the spiders safe. So you made the traps? I did! That's the sort of magic I'm good at. Well, a little good at it. Okay, maybe not good at all. It can be dangerous for me. But it does keep nasty pests away. What sort of pests? People pests. The sort that want to squish or eat nice spiders who never wanted to bother anyone. Have you been hurt setting any of the traps? You have to be very careful making traps or they can blow up. She holds up a rear leg. You notice that the end of it is gone. See? Pow! And it really hurt. How do spiders avoid the traps? We can walk on ceilings, silly. Yeah, okay, that's a fair point. I guess the traps wouldn't really work against, like, bats and the like. Okay, can you teach me any spells, dare I ask? Why am I asking this? She looks away. Her face changes color slightly. You think that she might be blushing. Oh, I would never try to teach magic to you. I'm not good at it. Not like an Aranea. They are real smart. Okay, then. This spider walks up to you with calm and dignity. He only comes up to your waist, but he seems much taller. He says, I welcome you with calm and dignity to our home. I am Spider Dresa. Then he looks slightly ashamed. Some spiders think I should be just be called Spider, but Spider Dresa is my name now. This spider must be a follower of Melanchion. So you worship the dragon Melanchion. He gives a little jump of happiness. Then he tries to regain his calm and dignity. I do! It's true! He is bringing peace to the caves, and he is a friend to spiders. I tried to get the other spiders to listen, but they won't. Not yet. When he comes and brings clouds of tasty bugs, they will. How did you meet the dragon? Oh, that was easy. Melanchion's fortress was near where we lived in the lower caves. He is friendly, and he thinks we are neat, so we were welcome to visit him. But I'm about the only one who did more than once. I offered to follow him. He thought it was funny, but he let me. Why do you worship the dragon? Because he's... Well, he's not cute, not like you, but he is big and strong and can breathe fire. Seriously! If spiders were that big and, you know, the fire, nobody would ever squish us. Well, I'm sure eventually someone would try to, I don't know, trigger a cave quake or a collapse or something, and then you'd be squished. I feel so evil saying that. You think Melanchion will help the spiders? The dragon is going to be powerful. He will own lots of Avernum, and when he does, he said he has said there will be a safe place for us where we can eat all the tree rats and have lots of spider babies in peace. And when that happens, all the spiders will say I am a hero. Hooray! Sure. Spider Jason continues with heroic effort to maintain his calm and dignity. I wish you well in the name of the dragon, the big mighty dragon. Where is Melanchion? Oh, Melanchion would not want me to say. He wants that to be a secret until he has all his allies. If he wants you to come to him, you will know. But he does have servants. That is what Dresa means. It means I'm his servant. And he asked us to do his will. Or find those you can. Do you go to meet with other Dresas? Oh, yes. Sometimes I go up to the cave ceiling and walk a long way west and... Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Please forget that I said west, all right? Thanks! Dragon is to the west, gotcha. I mean, he's not to the west. I know nothing about the west. The west is a complete mystery. West is not even a word. West? I thought you said weast! Uh, and is there anything you want me to do for the dragon? Well, I don't get much responsibility. I... It's sad. The others don't take me seriously. But I can prove myself. They say there is a shaman in this leth horde. He lives northwest of Pomelo. He wears dragon scales, and he acts in a way that is insulting to dragons. 
They are trying to find a way to punish the shaman. You know, if you killed him, it would be really good for me. Oh, and I would pay you. That is what we traces do. We pay those who help us. Clever, huh? Well, can you tell me more about this shaman? Uh... No. Sorry. Well, we're going that way anyway, and killing a powerful shaman of the Slith Horde would help out Avernum quite a bit as well, so I think we'll do that for you, sure. Oh, uh, what does the dragon do for you anyway? Nothing yet. He's still getting big and strong and making allies. One day, though, he will come out and all who are friends to him will be rewarded. Friends like us! Yeah, I suppose. Uh, that's just a guard spider. And that must be their chief spider. This spider is older than all of the others. Most of the thick hairs extending from his legs and abdomen are gray. He bears himself with a quiet dignity that lasts exactly up until the point where he starts to talk. Hi! I am a spider! I am the chief! It's true! I have led my people! Well, not people, you know what I mean. I mean I led them here to the ancient homeland, so we can have a great spider city! This is your ancestral homeland? Well, we lived here a long time ago. Not as far back as we remember, I mean. Our ancient tales tell of being in these caves near the Fort of the Dragon, which is here. And now we are home! It is scary. The Sliths, they do not like us. We are still happy to be here. Huh. Now that I think about it, yeah, this is exactly where the, uh... Where the gifts were in the first Avernum. Yeah, there were, uh... There were Aranea to the south of here. Probably around where that fort was, or a bit further south or something. Huh. No, no, the Aranea were down in the in those swamp areas. Huh. Never thought about that. Why did you abandon this place? We... We don't know. Maybe they ran out of bugs. Or maybe they all went for a walk and got lost. It is a great mystery. Yeah, I don't know. Does the Sith Horde know that you are here? Probably. They're really smart, but they don't care about us. As long as we stay away from them, they leave us alone. They hate you, not us. No offense. Plus, they might actually realize that we're helpful, not bad. You are useful? The Chief Spider seems slightly offended. Of course! We are very useful. The Sith say chit racks same as you, and we are very good at hunting and eating chit racks. If humans were smart, they would give us homes near their tasty bugs. But no, they are scared of spiders. I don't think they even realize how cute we are. You know what, risky as it would probably be, maybe we should talk to them about maybe going into the Eastern Gallery. Sure, it's Avernum and they might get hostile, but it, it could probably solve the chit rack problem they have in there. <coughs> Spider, the chief of the spiders, looks up at you, pedipalps twitching happily. We are happy to have you. We have captured many chit racks. Please, as our guest, feel free to eat any of them, even the juicy ones. Where did you come from? All of us smart spiders were living in the... What do you call it? I think the northern reaches. The big, deep river that goes a long way. We went down there, and then most of us decided to come back. Why did you go down there? We wanted to be safe, and we wanted to have people stop screaming and running away from us. It hurt our feelings. Why did you come back? Because a lot of us were lonely. We missed people. The spider moves just a tiny bit closer to you. You're cute and neat! Not all of the spiders came back? Some of them were scared. They said people would always try to squish us. They stayed down there to eat bugs and make big, big spider families. We hope they are happy. Well, hopefully. At least the gifts are spreading out a bit. So you are going to stay here? Yep, as long as nobody bugs us. He <laughs> get it? Bugs us? We will raise big spider families and hunt bugs and dig out all the old tunnels and be happy. The spider sighs, a long whistling sound. Uh, but it is very sad. Not all of us made it through the journey back. Some of us got caught. They are probably all dead and eaten now. Who captured the spiders? The spider's legs twitch angrily. Giants! Bad giants! They live that way. He points to the southwest. They think we are delicious. They eat us. They found us and grabbed some before we could run away. Maybe they are pets now. Or worse, maybe they were munched up by their dumb, dumb chief. 
The ones who were grabbed up were small and smart. Maybe they are still alive, being poked at or fatted up. Maybe they could be rescued, but there are too few of us and we are too weak. It makes us very sad. Well, we'll keep our eyes open and do what we can to help you out. We'll find those uh, spiders. We'll eventually be killing those giants anyway, most likely, so I think we'll be able to do it. That said, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here. Nice to see the gifts again. Always good to see the gifts. Even if it does occasionally leave me wondering various things about who I am and what I am and why I do the things I do and, oh god, why does life act this way? But that's the end of that. Uh, next episode, I'm just going to try and take a quick peek to the west at the bridge there and then find my way east to the bridge to the east. Then probably take a quick trip to Dranlon to sell the stuff I have on me. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.